Hello friends, in this lecture we will see what is an array data structure, why we need an array data structure and what are the types of array data structures. So let us focus on why we need array data structure. Consider an integer primitive data type, for example int a is equal to 10. Due to this statement, a variable named a will be created in the memory with the size of an integer and 10 will be stored in it. But problem here is we can store only one value. What if I am having 100 values and all the values are related to each other in some context. Creating 100 different variables to store these 100 values is not a good option. The solution is to use an array. For example, Consider a student S and these are the marks he scored in 5 subjects, subject A, B, C, D and E. Now all these 5 values are related to same student S. So it is not a good idea to store these values in 5 different variables. Instead, we can store in an array of integers of size 5. So this array represents marks of student S in 5 subjects. Let us see the syntax for creating one dimensional array in C programming language. First is data type, then array name, followed by a constant value in square brackets which represents the size of the array, that is, the number of elements in the array. For example, here int is the data type, s is the name of the array, and 5 represents the number of elements in the array. Now to initialize the array while declaration, you can assign all the 5 values in the curly brackets. With this statement, an array of 5 elements will be created and these 5 values will be stored in this array S. Here the index is the location of the item or element in an array. Please note, in most programming languages, the first array index is 0 and the indexes continues through the natural numbers like 0, 1, 2, 3 and up to size of array minus 1. Minus 1 because the array in first index starts from 0. Here the size of the array is 5 so the index starts from 0 to 5 minus 1 that is up to 4, 0 to 4. In this array s, at 0th index the integer value stored is 46, at first index the value is 41. At second index, the value is 39 and so on. Now to access or print the specific array element, following syntax is used in C programming language. Printf %d, first write the array name s and then in square bracket write the index position whose value you want to access. Like in this array s, the value at index 0 is 46. So this printf statement will print 46. Similarly, S3 will print 38 because in the array S at index 3 the value is 38. Now we can define the array. An array is a collection of variables belonging to the same data type or we can say homogeneous data type. For example, in an integer array all the values will be of integer type. In a float array all the values will be of float type. Similarly, for the array of characters etc. Next, the size of the array is a constant value which should be mentioned at the time of declaration of an array. For example, here 10 is constant value which is the size of the array. Next most important point is that the elements of the array are stored in contiguous or we can say adjacent memory locations. We will talk about the address of the array elements and the address calculation in further lectures. Now let us see what is 2D array, when we will require 2D array and what is its syntax. We will understand this with an example. Consider a situation when you want to store the marks of all the students in a class. Then in that case you can store in 2D array. Rows represents the students and column represents the subjects and the value represents the marks of particular student in this particular subject. 
now the syntax is data type space 2d array name then there are two constant values in the square brackets first tells the number of rows and second tells the number of columns the total number of elements in a 2d array can be calculated by multiplying the number of rows to the number of columns here in this example the number of elements are 3 into 5 that is 15 you can assign all the 15 values while declaration through this syntax again in this the index for the rows starts from 0 1 2 up to number of rows minus 1 and for the columns the index starts from 0 1 2 up to number of columns minus 1 now if you want to print the integer value at index 0 throw and third column you have to write s03 0 represents the row index and 3 represents the column index and the value at this position is 33 now let us see what is 3d array when we will require three dimensional array and what is its syntax in one dimensional array we have only one row different columns but only one row right in two dimensional array we have rows and columns or we can say two dimensional array is a collection of one dimensional arrays similarly three dimensional array is a collection of two dimensional arrays so the syntax of creating three dimensional array is data type space array name followed by three square brackets having three constant values first value represents the number of two dimensional arrays and the next two values represents the rows and the columns of each two dimensional array if you want to find the number of elements in this three dimensional array multiply all the three values that is number of 2d arrays multiplied by number of rows multiplied by number of columns for example this is a three dimensional array which is initialized at the time of declaration actually this is one complete statement for better understanding i have written in new new lines so in this three dimensional array there are three 2d arrays and the dimension of each 2d array is four rows and two columns the number of elements in this three dimensional array is 3 into 4 into 2 which is 24 elements now suppose you want to print this value 6 so first of all you have to tell in which 2d array this 6 value is and then in which row and after that in which column this value 6 is in first 2d array in 0th row and in first column so you have to write s101 in square brackets this will print the value 6 similarly this value 3 is in 0th 2d array second row and 0th column so you have to write s020 this will print the value 3 so that's all in this lecture to watch more videos like this please subscribe the channel thank you